Hello, it's Sangeeta and Fred here. Now, today marks a year since the UK went into its first lockdown in our fight against COVID-19. Well, we're marking this day as a day of reflection, remembering those whom we've all lost and the lessons we've learnt. The NHS has dealt with its most difficult challenge to date, helping millions of people and finding a new way of working. Well, Meridian is in conversation today with Dr Gaurav Gupta, General Practitioner at Faversham Medical Practice and the Chairman of the Kent Medical Community. Dr Gupta, thank you so much for joining us. It has been a remarkably hard year. What can you remember from those first couple of months? The first cases for us in the South were in Brighton. So I think initially a lot of surprise and also a lot of anxiety and stress about how to keep ourselves, our staff and our families and patients safe. I think initially there was a lot of uh, uh, kind of unknowns out there. And as time went by, we became a little bit more familiar with the pandemic. For example, the struggles in the very early stages with the PPE and making sure that uh, the staff are adequately protected. That was one of the most uh, uh, kind of uh, challenging thing that we faced at the start of the pandemic. As a medic, could you believe what was happening? You know, that we had this virus that was essentially out of control? So pandemic has always been known to be one of the biggest risks we face um, as a country. However, I have to say, I still can't believe what has happened over the last 12 months. And to, uh, to be having this interview now, today, a year on since March 2020, I think it it's all feels quite surreal still. I think, Dr. Gupta, from... from many people's point of view there was a terrible lack of connection with our GPs whom we rely on so much because of the because of the pandemic is that a problem we're going to be able to overcome yes and I think we are actually already overcoming that problem through the vaccination program and one of the reasons why the vaccination program in UK is worth beating it is ahead of everybody else is because we have relied on the tried and tested general practice model of delivery the vaccinations to the patients and i think it is about all that connectivity the continuity of care the trust that uh, patients place in their gps and our teams which is why we've been able to achieve that so i think we're already on our way to restoring any loss of confidence in nhs that might have happened during the uh, during the pandemic times and i think we're doing a good job of it what have you learned about yourself personally would you say um that things that seem to be uh, quite complicated, very important and uh, uh, almost life changing in the bigness of time are probably not as difficult as you thought it would be. And there are bigger things that we need to look at. So even in the pandemic, even though we've had a really challenging time, it has also been a very positive time over the last few months when we've been able to vaccinate our patients and to look at the fact that we've been able to vaccinate more than 50 percent of the UK adult population just within a matter of three months. That has been an absolutely mind blowingly amazing thing that we have done um, and I think we need to just look at those things and realize that we are capable to do so much. I think one of the worrying aspects of COVID-19 doctor has been the, the impact on people's mental health especially people working in the National Health Service. How are we going to overcome this? So I think it will take time. Uh, I think people are still coming to terms with what has happened. Um, in terms of what we do next uh, is the important thing. We need to make sure that people haven't had a break. People have been under a very stressful situation for almost 12 months. And as we come out of the pandemic, we'll have to do a lot of work, extra work, working in different circumstances in unfamiliar surroundings. And we must just make sure that we look after staff very well because we need to make sure that the workforce is protected and looked after for the long term. How hopeful are you feeling about the future now? I'm feeling very hopeful, actually. The vaccination numbers every day, I, I look at the numbers and I'm still amazed every day when I see these numbers. Three quarters of a million patients done in a day. I mean, absolutely amazing feat by NHS and by general practitioners and our teams. Uh, so I am feeling very hopeful. I, well, it doesn't want to be overly controversial, Doctor, but there's been much concern about pay rises for NHS workers. It seems to me to be a little unfair at the moment. Is that going to be rectified, do you think? I mean, I don't know whether it will be, but it should be. Uh, what we have seen when we first started is that there are some structural issues which made life difficult for both NHS workers and patients when we started having the pandemic a year ago. And almost a decade of underfunding and, and pay cuts in real terms for NHS staff actually contributed to the difficulties that we had to start off with. We have now proved our worth to our patients, to the government, 
And I think it now needs to be recognized. I think uh, not just doctors, but other healthcare professionals, social care workers need to be recognized and make sure that we protect this workforce for the future. Because of course, this pandemic isn't finished yet. We're going to be working under very challenging circumstances for some time yet to come. And I think it is absolutely the right thing to do is to make sure that people are adequately rewarded for the work that they do. You spoke about your struggle to get PPE as a GP in the early days. Do you think that lessons have been learned since then? Things are better. I think initially there was a big problem with the central supply chain. The central supply chain is working better now. There has always been this issue about what PPE is adequate to protect other staff from COVID. And I think that is something that I'm not sure that has been satisfactorily addressed. But in terms of the PPE supply, whatever PPE we need now, the centre supply chain is working a lot better than it did at the start. Do you feel we're ever going to be clear of COVID-19 or its variants? Or is it something we're going to have to learn to live with in future years? I think this is here to stay at least for a while. Um, I, I can't see at the moment how we're going to be ever COVID free, if you would like to use that phrase. Um, I think we'll have to learn to live with COVID at least for the next few years. And I think the only way we can actually live with the disease and functional as an economy, as a society, is through the vaccination and making sure that whenever the advice changes from the government and from the scientists that we follow it. Dr. Gaurav Gupta, we'd like to say thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure being in conversation with you. Thank you.